or an anthology yeah. of haikus on the deck. Oh, no, no, not no I haikus. I about Gary's turd collection. Really? <laughs> yeah. I thought you might say that. Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Wait. It's coming. Did he went oh. to see this? Is it's inspiration and it's delicious. Mm. Right here. <laughs> Day two hundred forty two. Okay, guys, so for that thing, I decided I just gonna like no show you what's written over here because me reading probably is awful for you guys. So, yeah, you can stop the video anytime you want. I can be just reading it on my own time, and you can just like you know stop it uh, or just skip it straight away to the gameplay. Without the story thing. Two hundred seventy eight. A sign of things to come. Yeah, so the government tried to take a control all over us with those cards and everything. And even they want to take a control of my son, I think. An invitation worth ignoring. National News Night. And the party wasn't the worst thing that happened to me. This is a staff announcement. This is Mr. What the? Your boss. Now that we have this new fangled alloy system up and running, I wanted to take the... Give me a second because my room is once more not properly set.
the heat wave. Eh. Oh my. Okay. That's a bit of here. Okay, okay, don't worry about it. Yes, they just strapped on their wax wings. Classical illusions are no substitute for air conditioning. Oh, we get a new one over here. She's not even here. Yes, but he is. Our gun toting handler. Who, Andy? No, I don't know what the fuck his name is, do I? He's here to keep us safe from people like disrupt. More like he was in line. Crazy Neil. Hey, guns. Middle guns. Ten seconds, everybody. So, we've got any actual real news tonight? Well, the world's on fire. Is that good enough for you? Going in five, four, three, two, one. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main headlines tonight Siege Mentality. The World Council today established a military blockade to enforce the unjust and punitive sanctions. Be maybe. Now entering their tenth week. In a statement from Team Headquarters a short time ago, Prime Minister Julia Salisbury issued a commanding response to this unprovoked escalation. Ever since these illegal sanctions were imposed, we have gratefully relied upon trade and aid from our worldwide... I don't like you anymore. Like us, refuse to recognize their legitimacy. You have that wanker, Peter. Today's escalation, however, I don't like him. is nothing short of an act there of There you go. War. We call upon our international allies to condemn this blockade absolutely. And we warn aggressors to this country that we are neither meek nor defenseless. Thank you. Okay. Without a hitch, with the celebrity wedding of the year off the cards, rumors have been flying as to the why. Ever since they broke off their engagement, the separation Let's of celebrity with lovebirds Johnny Hansleaves and Tiffany Lamour has been the subject of fierce speculation in the tabloids. But earlier today, Johnny finally spoke out. Johnny has said he's received an outpouring of support after coming out as gay at a press conference earlier today. In a heartfelt statement, he said that despite the fear of reprisals, okay. it was time he finally shared his truth in the hope that gay young people would see that there's no Good for you, for boy. In it to win it, exciting <laughs> news from Advance today with the announcement of a new monthly prize draw for all team uh. membership card holders. Every month, lucky winners from across the country Grandpa. will pick at random to receive what Team HQ are describing as unique prizes worth more than money used to be. Take up on the scheme has been much higher than expected. And if it's lucky winners delighted face, it looks like pretty soon everyone's going to have to have one. Bitter pill. Is this the beginning of the end for responsibility? The male contraceptive pill, lauded by yeah. scientists as a remarkable <clears throat> achievement, has been widely rejected by the public. Sales of the revolutionary drug have been non existent, with many claiming the world simply wasn't ready for such a shift in radical reproductive politics. Relentless CEO Sophia Remington has refused to bow to public pressure and give up on the treatment. Seen here outside Remington Sists HQ, the dogged businesswoman called the failure a minor hiccup before <laughs> reducing two reporters to tears. Yeah. Fungi or fungi? As their supplies dwindle, the scientists of Dante's Taint have had to supplement their food stores with more unconventional cuisine. After funding was pulled due to public outrage, Mushroom. The rescue the researchers have now been abandoned. But David and Ingrid's joint team are not going down without a fight and have begun to experiment with the available food sources. Without sufficient time Shroom. to test the long term effects of eating the newly discovered flora, the scientists resorted to deciding which to eat based on their favorite color. FX7B3 hey. has become the staple of their subterranean diet. That and doesn't sound too good. Despite its appetizing aroma, yeah. tastes like your dad's old feet. Yeah. Life okay. during wartime. As if we didn't have enough aggressors on our borders, internal problems are growing for the government as radical activist group Disrupt caused nice chaos in picture. Parliament Park last night. Scuffles broke out after the protest, resulting in multiple <laughs> arrests and the injury of three community <laughs> officers. Advance have yet to comment. As grassroots support Even the way it's the battles flying doesn't look like she's throwing it. Been able to fully regenerate, 
People across the country. This guy is what trying to break the camera. Division yeah. and multiple okay. television shows about okay. buying houses. <laughs> All this, and I'll be talking to some people with fascinating medical conditions, as well as one of the contenders in this year's Feline Football Championship Ooh. and a proud owner. That's off on tonight's National Nightly News. Doo, doo, doo. Thinks about the global financial situation. Think about how a nuclear reactor might work. Okay, it's going down. We still have some of those. <laughs> I like to mix that. More ammunition. It's a party over there. You. First tonight, our team of correspondents has been dispatched to every corner of the country to see how the people of this great nation of ours are coping with this unprecedented hot weather. First, let's go to Megan Wolf in Shining on Sea to see what this scientific community has to say. Megan, how's the weather there? <laughs> it's absolutely glorious, Jeremy. Thank you for asking. I'm here with Dr. Anna Burns of the University of Princeford. Are you enjoying the weather as much as I? What looks suspiciously like a wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you're part of the team carrying out a study. Is well. Never mind. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Yes. We okay, this is the assure the public once and for all that there's absolutely nothing to worry about and that they can enjoy their sunstroke and fossil fuels in peace. So I'm okay. very confident about that. Oh, very much so. I can say without any hesitation, there's really no cause for any concern here. I I've actually left my car running. <laughs> So tell us about this experiment. Ah, well, we take data from weather stations from all over the world, along with atmospheric samples, and we take all that and we feed it into this state-of-the-art computer, and very soon we'll be getting a high-tech readout of the results. Blimey, that sounds very fancy. No. Oh, I should just say, um, uh, none of this would be possible without the generous support yeah. of Rivington Fist. This is all <laughs> thanks to their unrivaled investment in our future, and may I just say, complimentary personal anecdote. Oh, here we go. What is that? And, ha, as expected, everything is absolutely fucked. Hang on. This... This can't be right. Uh, right, but ob uh, obviously uh, you said because they're going to go that everything is absolutely fine, so... Yeah. Well, actually, under concern level, that. it just says, Why, God, why? We should be celebrating these wonderful results, I think. Uh. <laughs> yeah? We need to evolve gills within 40 years. You look first. <laughs> what? Here it just says, Shit, shit, shit. Look at you. This is meant to be a celebration. Can't go around looking like that. Shit, shit, shit. There you shit, go. Shit, Much shit. better. Can I just say thank you again <laughs> to Sophia Remington for <laughs> providing all of this? Everyone, we don't have long. Time is running, running out. out. Absolutely right. That is all we have time Abandon for. Abandon hope and return to the forest. Mm. There you are. Uh, enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is massive drink? Just one opinion on the climate. The sea will reclaim us all. There you have it, Jeremy. <laughs> proof, if proof be need be, that everything is just fine. Uh -huh. I'm Megan Wolf, here with science. Back to you. Jeremy looks really Megan happy Wolf about it. Attending to do some actual news. Next, let's over to Robin Short. Why are you doing this? This week's team membership lottery. Robin. Thanks, Jeremy. Oh, Thank she's always so poor. Gary Failsafe, She's in the worst, worst situations. Sport, and Amelia Jackhammer, an aspiring poet. Oh. Both of you were drawn oh. at random from those who hold team membership cards to receive this week's amazing prize. How do you feel? Ooh. Filled with fervent euphoria. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. Was filling a quick form or two. <laughs> Wow, it just that sounds so convenient, but we're all dying to know oh, what oh. have you won. That's right, Robin. I've oh. won dinner with Julius Salisbury at one of the capital's top restaurants. Ooh, swanky. And I've been invited to Peter Clement's mm. house to help him dredge the gutter in. Uh, okay. That's absolutely terrific. You must both uh. be over the moon. I've written a poem about Is it. That... So, can you tell me about the moment when you first heard the news? Well, I was battling against a particularly difficult floater, probably one of the sixth formers, when the headmaster came uh, and found well, me. I was involved in a similarly brutal conflict with a particularly arduous stanza. So you were both okay. polishing turds? Yeah. I don't like to polish them. I like to keep them intact for my collection. Oh, 
Uh. How unexpected. Um, no, no, not, no, not polished turds. <laughs> I write poetry. Potato, potato. So, Gary. Okay. Peter Clement's going to let me keep the contents of his downpipe. Uh, There's no harm in asking, I suppose. Uh, Would you like to hear one? No, thank you. Gary, when you signed <laughs> up for team membership, was it in hopes of winning the lottery or then? So, if you wouldn't mind, please. Boss, but no, the boss said I had to sign up to keep coming into school. Very sensible. It's important to know who we're trusting around our children. Oh, yeah. I have an unpublished book of sonnets about children. Perhaps you'd like to hear one. <laughs> no! Or an anthology yeah. Oh, no, no, not no I haikus. I about Gary's turd collection. Really? <laughs> yeah. I thought you might say that. Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Wait. It's coming. Did he went to take a seat? This is... It's inspiration and it's delicious. <sighs> right here. <laughs> Today on the show, there's no news. Just a man. <laughs> this is my favorite. See how it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trade off. You encourage other people to give their chance to win. <laughs> if it's Collie you're looking for, what? Gander or Blue Eyes, eh? <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> what? Some of these are quite rare. Maybe that was unfair. And What's that's all oh. we have time for today. <laughs> Back to you, oh Jerry. My. Thanks, Robin. What a lucky pair they are. And finally, in this disgusting go, just get out of here, go. <laughs> Smelly is down in the country to see how the unprecedented weather is affecting the locals. Patrick? Hello there, Jeremy. Hello, yes. I'm here Hello. in Grizzleford, which has recently voted the smelliest town in the country. Oh. And I have to say that, you know, in this heat, the smell really is. I mean, it's. it's, it's, it's... I'm picking up that you might be somewhat annoyed with me. For your information for your whole life how'd you put up with the stink <laughs> well we're just all very proud of our achievement to be honest with you achievement all right, look at him proud as punch do you know what it's like son being the second smelliest town no, i don't living in the shadow of arseminster okay but who's laughing now eh? <laughs> what, not me that's for sure so what happened mate uh, Right, the good so, people stinky from town. came in and saved the day with their factory. You're talking, of course, about the newly built Flard factory. Yeah, they gave us <sighs> this big presentation on jobs and growth. Poor as boy. As we heard about the stench, we paid them <laughs> feel so bad about it. Oh. it here. Does the stink not affect your life in every way, Barry? I yeah. mean, perhaps if you're filling in a tax return or completing the physical act of love. <laughs> it's strong at first, but... You get used to it after several weeks of your first bout of sickness. Poor boy! <laughs> My boy, run! So, oh, what, what, what's, what's sickness? Uh, oh, that's nothing to worry about. It takes a few minutes before you develop any symptoms. Oh. <laughs> now, folk huh? are saying something about the production line and how they dump carcasses directly into the water main, but I think it's probably a few valves on the high street. On the high street? Uh, should I see a doctor? What, what are the symptoms? Well, the first one oh. is asking stupid questions. <laughs> then folk experience a lot of inhibition. Uh, fuck <laughs> do they? When was the last time you brushed your teeth, you stinking old tramp? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and next according is a period of randomly bursting into song, followed oh, no. immediately by delusions of... Don't sing, please! ...from a little song of my life. Hello, it's sexy Patrick Brown, and he's wearing oh, no. sexy shorts now. I'm like a stallion. I'm gorgeous. Why didn't you tell me? I should take my shirt off. You know what? I'll even let you touch me if you want. Uh, oh, that, that will be the bout of undeserved self-confidence. Uh. <laughs> no news. Shouldn't we cut away? Oh, my. <laughs> and the ennui. <laughs> now, all that's left now are the hallucinations and unconsciousness. Poor boy. No, got it. Patrick, hold on. Why are you made out of elbows? You know, I don't what? have opinions. Ah, ah. Oh, <laughs> actually, unconscious. Are we going to come back now? <laughs> we'll just find a place to stick him where it won't matter how many times he evacuates his bowels. Uh, where is the poop well, noises? That's all here from Grizzleford. A town that's really making a stink. I'm Barry Lardons. 
back to you, Jeremy. Uh. Thanks, Baron. Uh. With a naval blockade being set up around our coast... No, no, way back. The three members of the general public... Okay, you still want to drop my ratings? Reasons. Don't go away. Unless, of course, you've got something better to do. We'll be back. This next After section features days. a potentially controversial guest. One minute Advance may request some censorship if he goes too... Ah, fuck the censorship. Don't worry about the censor. It's 200 fucking ship. degrees in here, and I can't do this anymore. You say this every Friday. I've done something. Oh. What do you mean? Oh. Jeremy? What did you do? I want to I want to No! I want to hear that! Yeah. Uh. That's what I'm talking about. Cat football. We should be doing an interview <laughs> with the war minister. What? Break them down. Cat There's football. No more fucking relevant than this, Jeremy. Please, just breathe. It's just something like to keep Cat football. Exactly. Which is wrong. People's minds should be going much on things. Christ, it's so I'm fucking not hot. See that. Please take your seats as quickly as you can. I can't do this anymore, Jane. I've had enough. That's I want to see what's that. Jeremy, why don't you stop feeling sorry for yourself for five fucking five four three What? Okay, let's go. Welcome I wonder what's to, that? To the National Nightly News with me, your host, Jeremy Donaldson. Later, we'll be talking to the captain of the territory's first cat football team, Professor Pumpkin. But first, I'm joined by three guests with some balmy bodily behaviors. Okay. Joining me is a woman who's been hiccuping for over nine months. Isn't that right, Miss Piercy? Yes, okay. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yes. Tell us, mm. what brought all this on? Well, it's all a bit of a blur, Jeremy, to be totally frank with you. So I was watching your show and having a really annoying. And it, to be <laughs> it hasn't stopped since. <laughs> Fascinating stuff. Also yeah. here is Frankie Steampipe. Um, perhaps you could explain Steampipe. to us exactly what your physiological foreboil is. I'm here to say it's high time people like me were respected. We're constantly overlooked in the workplace, we're mm -hmm. whispered about on buses, and we're asked politely to leave children's birthday parties. And it's disgusting. Why? Who farted? I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my bowels have comic time. <laughs> and finally, I'm joined by a man who answers every question. What was said. that part? Isn't aimed at him. How do you cope with that, Mr. Truman? With a combination of booze, self-hatred, and hardcore pornography. Okay. Not according to my therapist. <laughs> well, in that case, um, let's speak to Rose. Tell me, how does the hiccuping impact you? I get shushed a lot, which is hard. <coughs> hard. Oh my god. They've asked me to, uh, to that is powerful hiccup. Really my confidence. Well, I find it really fucking irritating. <laughs> you tend to believe your story? Fuck no. Actually, I've been surprised at how much support I've received. <laughs> Because my wife left me and I was hoping that the fame would win her back. We've oh. started a group for people with ailments deemed broadly comical by society. It's called Take Us Seriously. Right. And we, we bloody well mean it. <laughs> and who's joined so far? A bunch of fucking losers. It's just us so far. Okay. And how much success have you had? Well, we've seen some real positive changes. I don't want to toot my own horn, but it's been <laughs> Yeah, you're a Not a single person <laughs> comes to our fund. And all of us are so much now. Huh. Well, <laughs> Miss Piercy, um, some people are saying your condition was actually caused by the shocking events of that uh. What do you think? Oh, come down, Mr. Donaldson. That's absolute rubbish. What would it be like to have a pair of tits? <laughs> Could you? Um, <laughs> um, I'm sorry. It's very odd. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> that you're a team <laughs> puppet? No. Or a sellout cunt? Apologies. <laughs> 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 Just a reminder that he can't help it. And hey, if this is a live dialogue, then what is it? Fuckfest of propaganda masquerading as journalism. <laughs> ah, we live in the... Right! What the hell? hell? He just yes, shit himself. He was getting involved with your cause. Yes, we're holding a, a sponsored huh. run in um, Capitol <laughs> Park. 
uh, next weekend. It's called the Next <laughs> Mile 13 Miles. No, it's called the No Laugh Half. What did I say before the show? That it was the team pulling Jeremy Donaldson's strings. No! I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> I that there, I'll what a Police? <laughs> Steady on! <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. Uh -oh. We demand respect! Ah, uh -huh. yes, well, later, <laughs> I'll be talking to <laughs> Professor Pumpkin. A ginger tabby with a world class bear. Fart boy! Is that really necessary? No, it isn't. Let go! <laughs> Not you! I've heard it once! Oh, enough! That's enough! Oh! Yo! Oh! 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 Enough! Oh, what are you huh? doing? I'm trying not to piss myself. Alex, cut. Don't you dare! <laughs> Don't you fucking dare cut to the ass before I tell you to. Now. Okay. You're in the broadcast centre. Hi! You listen to me. You're my you boy. Catch the ads before I tell you to, and I will kill every single person in this studio. Jeremy, think about <laughs> I am thinking about what I'm doing. I've been thinking about it for a long time. Oh. We all should be. Christ, it's so fucking hot in here. Do you remember when you used to do the radio? I don't really need to. Before it was all. Be worried about the censorship now? Catty cat football. We are on the brink of I would like to the see cat football to be honest. In hundreds of years. The enemy is at the gates, and I'm stuck here talking to these three fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Get the fuck out of my studio. Go on. Now, go. Before I change my mind. Jenny, lock the doors. Lock the doors. Yes, Jeremy. Now. Good. Okay. Yes. You in the broadcast centre? Yeah, hiya. Alex, you listen to me. You pay attention. Uh -huh. Now, I'm sure you've already loaded up exactly what you're going to play in the commercial, but today is going to be a little bit different. Uh -huh. Look to your right. Yes, really. Look to your right. There is a VHS tape, and I want you to load it into one. This of one? And when I say so, and not before, you play it. Hey, do that one. Okay, it's no problem. 15 seconds, so I wouldn't waste any time. Okay. Oh, Alex, I assure you after playing that tape, this station does not negotiate Shut up! 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 Shut Fuck are you! Reset the system for the third segment. I imagine the ratings are going to be through the roof. Talk about this on the news. We are disrupt. We are the resistance. It's time you knew the truth. Okay. You know it are a line to you. You know the elderly are not a burden. You know the rich were not all evil. And you know the team membership card is an ID card. Yeah. No matter what they try to tell you. But why should you trust I'm us? with you! Another faceless yeah. organization. A shadowy figure with a distorted voice. You've seen it so many times in the movies. Yeah. Oh, this is not a movie. No! My name is Alan James. No! <laughs> not I used to try fuck. And shock No! For entertainment. I, I'm not with you anymore. <laughs> fuck it. How to cancel it? But perhaps you Stop need it. To be perhaps <laughs> no. we need to wake up. <laughs> Advance are coming for our freedoms. They're coming for the fruits of our labors. Why they you? They will euthanize our parents and smiling through. Our now I regret I put an, uh, put that one on. Concerns. But we don't have to accept it. A great many people already won't. You can resist. You can disrupt. Find us. Okay. Talk with us. Join us. So what now? It isn't hard. I don't know. We're everywhere. Uh. This wasn't what I planned. I mean, some of it was. I had speech. Look. But this. This was unexpected. Oh no. So what now, Jeremy? It was supposed to be your day off. God, please don't do any more stupid things today. Well, how long? Don't kill anyone, please. Welcome.
Welcome back to the mm. National Nightly News. Unexpectedly, <laughs> or I very much imagine will be my last broadcast, are two new guests. Jenny works here at the National Nightly News, and is someone I consider... I don't like the way you well, say, like, last broadcast. And next to her is... What's your name? Andy. Oh. Andy's a policeman. Only, we don't call him that anymore. He's a community cohesion official. Okay. Officer. Sorry? It's, um, it's community cohesion officer, CCO. And how's that feel, Andy? <laughs> Being rebranded? It's, uh, it's good. <laughs> it's, it's not about confrontation anymore. Uh -huh. The force had its fair share of problems. The, uh, the team doesn't have as many. But it still okay. has some. Oh, I couldn't say. Couldn't or wouldn't? Oh. I don't know what you want me to say. Christ, you're fucking useless, aren't you? We'll come back to you later. Jenny? <laughs> I don't want to be on the news, Jeremy. Oh. Jeremy, what happened here? <laughs> oh, no. Did you want to do this? Jeremy. Jenny, why did you join the National Nightly News team? I always wanted to work in news. Mm -hmm. Yes, but why specifically this program? The National Nightly News. It was the news everyone trusted. It was. Was. Is. Do you really want to quibble semantics at gunpoint? Is there no. something else you'd rather discuss? Well, there is a great big Alan James sized elephant in the room you seem to be ignoring. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? I saw your face when that thing came down. You didn't know, did you? It's about the message, not the messenger. <laughs> I said you didn't know. No. I didn't know. The people I met were with. He wasn't there. <laughs> God, I I'm didn't sorry. know it was Alan James. I'm sorry. But seriously, Alan. Yeah. Fucking James. You're flushing your life down the toilet. For yeah. I love you, Jeremy, but. He's a good speaker. I'm really worried He's about you now. Is that right? Okay. Look, forget Alan James. There is still something deeply wrong. And you know. Yeah, you. I'm with you on that. And you. You are home. You know it too. Meanwhile, well, I'm in work. I'm interviewing a guest who stinks of shit. Patrick is paddling about in shit. And Robin, Robin <laughs> is literally interviewing someone who collects the fucking stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not sophisticated, but what a metaphor. We are sleepwalking our way into oppression. Oh, no. And the news isn't saying anything. Exactly. Yeah. We're going to say that. Say yeah. Alan fucking <laughs> <laughs> what are all those scientists working on at Bentham Downs? Ah, uh, fucking James. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, your turn. Make yourself fucking useful. How many people have you brought in for consultations just because they weren't carrying or didn't have team membership? Ah, they don't like that. Well, there's other forms of identification that we will accept. For how long? We're just here to help. Then why do you need these? Uh, well, he's a police officer, he's so... Not when it's offered at gunpoint, is it, Andy? Let me demonstrate. Let me help you. Okay. You read these cards of my notes on it, and you'll probably digest a fact. That'd be helpful, wouldn't it, Andy? Okay. Knowing a fact? What? I don't understand. Do you want my help, yes. Andy? Yes, <laughs> you say, yes. Security are here, Jeremy. Eat it. What? Eat the fucking news, Andy, or I'll force it are down. Are they knocking or Jeremy. over there? Stop. Go on. Really? Eat it. Eat it, you fucking bully! Jeremy, stop! They will kill you. Please, don't make me watch that. Oh no. Jeremy! Of course. You're right. Sorry. No, Jeremy. Sorry, everyone. Run! Come to me! Calm down now. You can go now. You too, Jenny. Fuck up over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and any time. All cameras on me. This new regime of ours is so seductive. Mm. I understand that. But 
before we all hand off our freedoms, should we ask to whom we're handing them over? Don't you want to know what's being done in your name? How many people were transitioned last month? A record high, again, if you care. Shouldn't someone ask advance how they plan to deal with this blockade? How many years or months of supplies we have? Fuck you guys, I ain't gonna be censored well, anything. I'm with you, Jeremy. Who's shit is this? There's a cat backstage. But the uh, Sir Wards. Yeah. He's even got the little gloves. Anyway, that's why I arranged for you all to see that broadcast in the last break. I didn't know it was going to be him. <laughs> yeah. But I guess that just about sums it up. We are all up Ship Creek with a paddle made of Alan fucking James. <laughs> Christ, it's also fucking pointless. I was gonna quit tonight. Oh. Take a holiday. Try something else. Out of the limelight. Maybe try having a relationship. I hear they're nice. Yeah. Never tried. Poor I, boy. You're my boy. Come on. I loved you. And now, well. God, Jeremy, go! No! I've tried my best to be honest with you. No, Jeremy, no, 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 no. I'm not sorry. I've lost this Alex. fight. Alex, think of the consequences. No, please. My name's Jim. No. Now, if you can. No. Jeremy. My boy.